All right, what is up everyone? OJ here, Player Essence. Welcome to another PE Live. We got the Saturday edition. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the music. Oh my god, let me... I can't even finish my opening sentence. We've got a huge Toby Bluster! <laughs> Shoutouts to Fury Tiger. Oh my god, let me just... Can I finish? <laughs> I, apparently I cannot. Shoutouts. We also have Sierra, Sierra Herb with a $5 donation. She says, woohoo! I think she, I'm pretty sure. Woohoo! Caught, caught you live again. Hey, <laughs> here's for last time. Thank you for the $5 donation. And also, shout out to Fairy Tiger with the $15 donation. Already starting the stream off, blasting us away. Team Rocket, Team Viking Nation. Fairy Tiger says, Viking Nation! Play Robo Warrior over world theme. Robo Warrior overworld theme. Absolutely, absolutely. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the beginning music. That was Persona 5 OST Last Surprise. Shoutouts to, um, I know George, uh, Bang Bang Armadillo Gang, uh, he was suggesting Persona music. So uh, on Twitter, I usually put up posts like, hey guys, give me some bangers, some video game music bangers for you guys to play or for me to play during streams or for me to play during videos. And uh, George suggested Persona 5. I don't think it was, I don't know if it was Last Surprise. I, I'm, I know it was a Persona song, but anyway, all the songs in Persona are actually pretty good. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get that Robo Warrior going. Robo Warrior. Uh, I was supposed to have a video for you guys earlier today, but my hard drive keeps on disconnecting randomly, then reconnecting. It's pretty much shot at this point. My hard drive is my my external hard drive, not my normal internal hard drive that I have for my for my PC, but my external hard drive that has all my videos that I use, like uh, foot gameplay footage and stuff like that. It's pretty much shot. It keeps on disconnecting and reconnecting, and I couldn't get a video produced for you guys. So I had to scrap it. So that's the reason why we started up later, because I was supposed to have a video for you guys, like, at 9-something. But I kept on trying to fix it, and it took me a couple hours to fix, and then I didn't end up fixing it at all. So I was just like, skip it. So, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll try to, maybe I'll re-upload, or maybe I'll redo the video, then, um, then put it up later. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and let's get that Robo Warrior uh, from the Overworld theme. Over, over. I can't find it. Hmm. I know I played this one before. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let me know how it sounds, guys. Can you guys hear it good? Shout out! So, so, shout out! Shout outs once again to. Uh, to Fury Tiger as well, Sierra. I appreciate that. Fury Tiger, you are though the top Oh my god. He said, let Fury Tiger P I V K the next pick. Oh, pick. I think he just misspelled typo on the pick. Uh, shout outs to Fury Tiger. Okay, Fury, Fury Tiger, you can pick the next song as well. Uh, you are the top ninja though. Let me go ahead and get that up here. Good sh uh, shout outs. And also shout outs to, I think that was Robert, right? Viking Nation once again. Oh no, Jonas! No, still Viking Nation, just just not just not Robert. Jonas Erickson with the five dollar donation. Streamlabs, thank you so much. Appreciate that. It says let Fury Tiger pick the next song. Smiley face. All right, Fury Tiger, next song. Um, it's a little louder than me. Okay. All right. Music too loud. Okay. How about now? Oh no no no! I know I know what's wrong, guys. Because my bar is hitting red. Bubble bobble main theme. Okay, what about what about now, guys? Like, how is it? How does it sound now? I, I, I should it should sound a lot better. All these all these tracks use like different levels, so it's tough. Better, perfect. Okay, cool. All right, bubble bobble, bubble bobble. It is next. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's uh, let's see who's here. Let's see who's here today. Appreciate the donations, guys. Um, shout out to Aron, Elite Ninja Aron, Elite Ninja Jonas Erickson, or no, er Eric Jonas Erickson here. Uh, shout outs to Elite Ninja Sean uh, Diamond, Elite Ninja El Chupacabra, the douchebag. I mean, El Chupacabra 06. Uh, shout outs to Elite Ninja Party Man. Shout outs to Nintendo Gaming. MO, what's good? Katana Riku, how's it going, my boy? Shout outs. Uh, T Dude, what's good? It's Skiz. Shout outs to Elite Ninja It's Skiz. What's up, D Dog? Uh, let's see here. Party Man is the god of Mario Party games, bro. I won the last Mario Party, okay? It was me. Shout out to Flip999. Shout out to Flip Moan. How you doing today, brother? Good to see you here. Good to see you here. T Dude, Rosalina, PB, KJ2399. What's good, everybody? The GOAT. 
What's good? Amiibo fan. Shout out to Leading to Amiibo fan. Good to see you here again. What are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about what is in the title of the video. I'm, I'm doing shout outs to Amiibo fan. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you've been to lots of streams. I'm pretty sure you know that I do shout outs at the beginning. I'm saying hi to everybody. Uh, and then whatever else that we're talking about, it's right there in the title of this video. So you'll, you'll know what we're talking about. Um, shout outs to, let's see here, the Master Passer. What's good? Uh, Paint Fat Purple. What's up? Dank Meme Center. How's it going, man? Uh, Nick Rex, how's it going? Jeffrey Augustine, good to see you guys here again. Once again, Prime 5, barely made it. You're good, man. We just started up. Markel Hawthorne, what's good? Uh, let's see here. I won a majority of them, though. It doesn't matter. Who won the last one? Who won the last one? I won the last one. So, I, and not only did I win the last one, I won the last one convincingly. It was a decisive victory for Player Essence. It was a decisive victory for OJ. I really... I, I really, really won that one. The other ones, I was just warming up. I was just getting ready to go. You know, once I got warmed up and ready to go, I would have won like the next like seven in a row if we played, if we kept on playing. But there's only 10 mini games to play online. So yeah, it was it was one of those things where I really just decided, you know what, it's good. I think I'm done destroying you guys for tonight. So yeah, I mean, I was cooking steaks. I was freaking running, ch dodging, charging chucks. Your boy was on one that night. So I mean, you know, so yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what happened. Uh, Nelson says, uh, it's almost 4 a.m. here. Oh, God, you guys live at 4 a.m. How is it almost 4? Dude, it's 11.45 a.m. where I'm at. How is it 4 a.m.? Goodness gracious. The world is huge. Uh, shout outs to Christian Kunani with the $2 donation. He says, let's not forget Vega from Smash Ultimate after. Okay, no problem, Christian. Appreciate that, my boy. Really do. <coughs> you sing <much. coughs> I got something to make through. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Thank you so much, Chris. And I appreciate it. Um, let's see here. Let's get the bubble bobble thing. Uh, Fury Tiger. Oh, <laughs> okay. I can't smell. <laughs> Fruity Tiger. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't smell. Sorry guys, and my, my hard drive is currently disconnected and reconnecting stuff as we as I speak. Um sorry about that. Uh for Furty Tiger? Furty Tiger. Uh Fert Furty Tiger. Yeah, Furt Furty Tiger. <laughs> F F U F F U R Y T I G E R Fury Tiger, not Furty Tiger. Fury Tiger, you were back. You were back at the top. Um, shout outs though, man. Uh, if you guys hear some Windows sounds and stuff like that, it's because my my lap my hard drive is disconnecting and reconnecting. So sorry about that. Um, uh, I'm I'm really sorry about Furty Tiger and my hard drive. Uh, bubble Bobble main theme. Let's go. Me and my brother used to play Bubble Bobble all the time, dude. Oh my god, we used to play that game. Oh, it was so good. Bubble Bobble is really good. I think you mean like the... This one here. Yeah. This one is so good, dude. Bubble Bobble is, was... Let me let me just speak real quick. First of all, Fury Tiger with the Toy Blaster. So I want to talk about Bubble Bobble real quick, guys. Bubble Bobble was when you were a kid, or even if you were a little bit older, it captured your imagination more so than any other game. Let me just show you guys the, um, let me let me show you guys, and I'll get to that in just a bit. Let me show you guys the cover. Bubble, look at this cover! As a kid, what what did you, what would you think as a kid in the late 80s, early 90s playing this game? Look at this! I don't know if you guys ever seen Bubble Bubble, but it's an amazing game. There was like fruits and apples and you shot bubbles and you captured stuff and you want to, it captured the late 80s slash early 90s so well and me and my brother would play and it was hard it wasn't an easy game there was tons of stages um it was also sad too like when you died and stuff it wasn't it was uh, it's also kind of sad as well um but like it's so so good so good it looks stupid the cover looks dumb but when we were kids this was amazing this was just so good it was so good so shout out to fairy tiger bringing up the memories okay the memories with bubble bobble fantastic game i've played it a million times i probably put like three thousand hours into bubble bobble as a kid me and my brother play all the weekends we try to beat it every time we ended up beating it a few times though good stuff um good stuff the sarcasm is real what are you talking about okay <laughs> dude i'm being dead serious i freaking love bubble bobble are, are you talking about sarcasm what are you talking about 
This game is amazing. I'm not, I'm so, uh, Fury Tiger, I'm not being sarcastic here when I talk about my love for Bubble Bobble. I'm not being sarcastic. I freaking love, I love Bubble Bobble. It's one of my favorite games of all time. No, I'm not being sarcastic at all. <laughs> not sarcastic at all. Um, I don't know why you think that, but I'm really not. Um, I love, I honestly really love Bubble Bobble. Like, I really do love the game. Um, I still have the game originally on my, on my NES. I still have the game. Um, so anyway, uh, let's see here. Let's, let's continue on here. Um, Fury Tiger, we picked the Bubble Bobble song. Also, Vega theme from Smash Brothers. Okay. Uh, the new one, right? Smash Ultimate. Yep. All right. So we, we played that quite a bit last time. So we make sure we get that one. There's a, good, there's a better loop. So we'll play a little bit of the loop. Excuse me. Um, so shout outs. Oh, my God. What? Yo, shout outs. We got another Toby. Bluster! Yo, what's good? The Uchihas! Let's go! The Uchihas! I know who that is. I know who the trio is. The deadly trio. With a $15 Toby Blaster. Can you guys hear the music? I don't know. It seems a bit low on my end. I don't know. Let me. I'm going to turn it up just a bit. It says, hey, OJ. Just wanted to drop some village funding. Can we do another Persona 5 song? Your pick. Thanks for all your support. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Uchiha's, hitting us with that Toby Blaster Jutsu. I do appreciate that. Thank you so much. And also, Fury Tiger, uh, with the $5 donation, says, good stuff. Uh, quotation. So, good stuff. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate the love, the ninja funds, because YouTube hates me. I'm pretty sure YouTube hates my channel and hates me. Uh, and they don't even respond back to me on Twitter now. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure they hate me. They're doing everything possible to make sure that I fail. But thank you guys so much. I do appreciate. Appreciate the love. I really do. Um, Bubble Bossle is an amazing game. Oh, you guys check out what Skiz posted. We got seven percent off of PE merch with that with that uh with that discount code that they give you. So check it out if you guys are looking to get something. Oh my God, what's okay? We're getting freaking destroyed today, Toby. Let's go, Blaster. Says I'd rather play this game than most of the AAA crap today. I agree. Actually, I was playing Bubble Bobble. Where was I? I forgot where I was. I was, well, this is how sad my life sometimes is. I was eating alone at a restaurant. <laughs> oh, God, I'm exposed, am I? Anyway, I went out to eat by myself. <laughs> it was like a like a arcade and a pizza place. And I was like, oh, let me just go. <laughs> so I went out to eat by myself. And uh, <laughs> there was an arcade machine there. <laughs> there was a bubble bubble arcade machine there, like old school. Uh, so I was playing the Bubble Bubble Arcade Machine. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I was out. I went to eat pizza by myself. And I, there was an arcade machine there. Um, and I was playing Bubble Bobble there. So, I still, yeah, I still play it to this day as well. I still play it to this. I was, I was going to say, I was going to try to make up something to lie. But I was like, you know, what? I'm not going to lie to my users. I was like, oh, I went, on a, I went with the, on a Tinder. I was on a Tinder. No, I wasn't. I was, I was there by myself. Uh, yeah, I was just... I got done with the stream and I was just like, oh, what am I going to do? I didn't really feel like staying in. So I just decided like going for a drive, took my car, went out for a drive, put an air in my tire, put some gas in my car, even though my gas didn't really need, my car didn't really need gas, but I just topped it off. Just kind of stood around. I saw the pizza place. I was like, oh, I haven't been in there for a while. So I just went there and ordered a small pizza and played bubble bobble. Yeah, so, yeah, thank you so much, Fairy Tiger. I appreciate the donation. <laughs> yeah, uh, Bubble, <laughs> Bubble Bubble is definitely a lot better than a lot of the crap released today, man. I agree. I agree. I'll still play it today, to this day. Uh, feels bad, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, somewhat. <laughs> somewhat. Um, so, oh, you went on a date? I did not go on a date. I just said that I did it. Um, let's see here. Why are you asking me if I'm going to be on? Why is everybody asking me if I'm going to be on the Spawncast? I'm always on the Spawncast. I'm on the Spawncast every single week. Uh, I haven't missed a week in a long time, so I don't know why. Why are you asking? I'm, not gonna, I'm always gonna be on the spawncast, unless unless when I'm not on the spawncast, I'll let you guys know. If John kicks me off for whatever reason, I'll let you guys know. But no, I'm I'm, I'm good. Uh, it's not like I asked anybody to come with me. No, but shout outs, Fairy Tiger, for the freaking third Toby Blaster of the stream. Uh, multiple one two. Oh, no, hold up, no second Toby Blaster of the stream. Second Toby Blaster, third donation of the stream. So shout outs. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that, man. I really do. Um, so, yeah, Bubble Bobble's amazing, Fairy Tiger. It, it, it is. It's amazing. Um, so, let's go to... Let's get uh, the next music pick, and that is uh, Persona 5. 
I think we're gonna do some, let me see, Persona 5 music, and we're gonna do some, what can we do here? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, we could do layer cake. We could do layer cake. Shoutouts, thank you guys so much. Appreciate that. Appreciate the donations. Really do. Um, ain't nothing wrong with the solo meal. Nah, nothing wrong with that at all. Um, Tetsu needs to make you some good edits. Yeah, man. Uh, Skin says, uh, because uh, you say every week, I don't think uh, I'm on the spawn cast today. And then you were now, uh, now it's an inside joke. Oh, it's, oh, you guys got me with the inside joke. Okay, yeah, I used to always say that. Yeah, for like, I think like two or three months straight starting out the year before i became a full-time member it was like the joke was oh like i'd be on my show like oh yeah you know I, I think i'm good for today you know i'm not gonna be on the spawn cast i'm just gonna you know watch some anime relax you know do whatever then all next thing you know like like 30 minutes before the spawn cast starts or like an hour before the spawn cast starts john's like hey oj you want to be on the spawn cast and i'm like sure heck yeah but now i'm just a regular member so yeah uh table for one please yeah pretty much Oh snap! Yo, Fury Tiger coming through with another. Let's go and do it, Diamond Blaster! Let's go. Fury Tiger says, "Make it three. Smiley face. <laughs> make it three. Make it rain, Fury Tiger. More than fifty, fifty dollars for today, dude. Thank you so much for the support. Yesterday you donated as well. You did a huge Toby Blaster yesterday, so thank you, Fury Tiger. Living up to that top stream ninja name. Living up to that man. Ninja War funds getting packed. Pizza funds packed for the week. I got my pizza ready for you guys. Well, for me, but I'm gonna be eating pizza. I just don't know when to eat it. Should I eat it today or should I? Eat? I think I'm gonna eat it on NFL Sunday because my mom brought me a ton of rice and chicken, my favorite food in the world. So, so yeah, yeah, definitely gonna be eating it tomorrow. NFL baby, after the live stream, Bowser is a mistake. Fury Tiger's going in. My boy Fury Tiger's going completely in. Anyway, let's get into the content here today, guys. Huh? What do you what What do you say? What do you say? So let's talk about the recap of the Nintendo Switch rumors and all of this. For and I want to first say this to everybody. Like I said, I let's just get a whole recap. So let's start from the very beginning. Let's start from the very beginning and where we are at this point because I think it's an interesting thing because everybody's looking. Everybody's looking at me. Well, not everybody, but people are looking at. Hey, OJ, you're gonna mix it up, right? You're gonna try to go in one way or another. And I'm telling you guys, I'm not doing that. But we'll get to that at the end. I talked about yesterday on Players Cross Nintendo. Y'all ain't catching me slipping again. You know what I'm saying? So let's start at the beginning. So the Wall Street Journal recently posted. Um, uh, uh, what's it called? What was it? Uh, they recently posted a rumor, but they they said it was a report. So they said that they have sources that say that there's going to be a revision on the Nintendo Switch for 2019. Like, a re they said a better screen. That's all they said. They didn't say anything about more power, like a way more powerful like system or anything. They just said a better screen. Uh, and they said that they're still working on potentially what the specs could be. So it could be a slight upgrade. It could be something bigger, but they never said one way or another. They just said it's not finalized at this point because obviously tech and everything's going to be cheaper, you know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, they, they might wait till the last second, you know, they might wait till like March of 2019 and then say, okay, this is what we're going to use and then hand it out to developers. And then it comes at the end of 2019. So developers do know. Um, so that was the original rumor. Now here's the thing, like a bunch of YouTubers. And like I said, this is no shots. I think every, I think here's the thing that I want to do. I want to make sure everybody makes this, let this be known. I do not dislike super metal Dave or review tech or people like that. I have no problem with really anybody, but that weirdo dwarf, I don't know what his name. I think his name is Bowie Darius on um, on on Twitter. I'm not. I I don't remember his name. I just know he looks like a weirdo elf or dwarf or something like that. a weirdo dwarf. The only that's the only thing I have a problem with is weirdo dwarfs who talk too much. Outside of that, I have no problem with anybody. Okay, just weirdo dwarfs are my only issue that I have. Because stupid profile pictures with weirdo dwarfs that accuse people of doing things that that they're not doing. That's the only that's the only person I have a problem with. Outside of that, I'm cool with everybody. You know what I'm saying? And I, like I said, I, I left some drops, some comments on, you know, Dave's uh, Twitter account, which I think he's kind of talking like, hey, you know, maybe, you know, he's kind of, you know, moving a little bit. So I don't have any problem with anybody. So everyone starts sitting here and say, oh, you have a problem with, no, I don't. Okay. I don't have a problem with Super Mario Dave. He's doing his thing. His channel's doing good. Review Tech, they're doing good. I, I accept their opinions. They accept their opinions are fine. There's nothing wrong with their opinions, whether it's Dreamcast guy or it's anybody. Everybody's, a, they're, they're fine. Okay. So please stop 
please please stop saying that i don't like people okay stop saying that I, this is just video games all right it's, it's just video games i honestly don't give a crap as soon as i turn off this computer it's like whatever man i care about you guys and i care about getting you guys the information and everything but that's that that it starts and it stops right there after that when i'm lying down relaxing i'm like i don't i'm like whatever i'm watching twitch or something like that i don't care you know so it's not that serious for me to dislike hate people like my mom didn't raise me that way to hate people like this or really dislike people over video games okay it's never been that way so please i know a lot of you guys aren't but please stop acting like i am okay so you know just, just stop okay so anyway so after the wall street journal reported that you know dave and other people started to say that they have sources that have said that it's more powerful now they did say even before the whole wall street journal thing they did say that they feel that there's going to be a new switch that they they hinted that or, or at least dave did so that's where all this kind of comes to play because dave is putting out videos like that that's obviously getting tons of views you know um they uh they you know review tech put out a big video that's getting tons of views people are watching that so people are now thinking that it's going to be a more powerful upgrade like a like a significant power gap um or a good enough like a good sizable gap uh within the power so that's fine if people want to think that that that's cool um so that's kind of where we are at this point right now you know at this point right now there hasn't been really any more news outside of uh wall street journal first article everyone reporting on what the wall street journal said giving their own opinions Review Tech and Super Metal Dave saying, no, we have sources that say this, you know, uh, and, and you know, because I didn't, I didn't, I just dismissed like a 4K super powerful machine. I just feel that it's going to be a slight upgrade. But I, I, I also said, uh, you never know. I just don't want people to go overboard. Like, like I said, I got caught slipping last time with the Switch, right? Remember Polaris, all this stuff? I got caught, I'm not going to get caught slipping again. You know, I'm not going to get caught slipping again with this whole thing. Let's just wait and see, you know? Let's wait and see. I mean, if it's a more powerful, stronger thing, your boy's copping it. If it's a slight upgrade, your boy's copping it. If it's a, just a 1080p screen with a better quality, um, you know, a larger, you know, larger screen, better quality screen, 1080p, and really it's not that much more stronger or whatever it is, or just better build quality, your boy's copping it. It's just, it, it's really, it's what it comes down to, you know? That's what it comes down to, man. That's what it comes down to. So uh, that's pretty much the recap of, of, of it uh, so far, okay? Um, that's the recap of it so far. So what do you guys think? What do you, what do you guys think about this? Yeah, weirdo dwarfs. Yes, weirdo dwarfs. I mean, I, like I said, like I have no problem with anybody. And really, even to be honest, like I understand why he acts the way that he does because he is a weirdo dwarf. And weirdo dwarfs have to do weirdo things. And a lot of stuff that he said is weirdo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I get that. You know, but I mean, that's the only person that I, that I, I would say that I don't dislike as a person because I don't know him. But like I said, I'll definitely say I don't like him lying about things and sitting here and making up stuff about me. That's not cool. I mean, who would like that? So, I mean, weirdo dwarfs, you know, they can, they can piss off, I guess, right? Um, so, yeah. Um, so, what do you guys think? Tag me at hashtag player essence at player essence. I'll be more than happy to answer you guys' questions. Um, so yeah, uh, I can't wait for people to be disappointed. Yeah, that's that's the reason why I'm like, you know, let's just kind of calm down. Let's just wait and see what this is going to be. Let's calm down, you know, because uh, people are definitely going to get disappointed here and there. I mean, I think it's going to happen. But like I said, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see, man. Um, hashtag weirdo dwarf. What's up, what's up, Norman Burton? How you doing today, man? Overhype equals disappointment. Yeah, it can, it can. You guys give me some thoughts on this. I know you guys got some more thoughts on this stuff. Um, I know you guys do. Let's see. Did we get another song request uh, coming in here? Um, oh, yeah, no, the last one was just Persona. So we'll, we'll let this Persona music play out. Uh, it's nice, it's nice kind of chill music. Is the, is the sound okay, guys? Uh, let's see. I think that, yeah, a revision summertime next year, second half. Okay. Yeah, that, that's respectable. That's respectable. I don't expect nothing. Uh, that's how I, um, that's how I, I, I never di be disappointed. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Mataki says, I cannot wait for SMD to be so, uh, so wrong again. I mean, I don't know if he will be. Maybe he's right this time, man. I mean, if you keep on swinging, you're going to hit the ball at some point, right? I mean, so, and I don't mean that as a shot. I'm just saying like, you know, if he keeps on, he, he keeps on saying there's something, man. So, I mean, like, if, if he's right, dude, I'd be, I, dude, I'd be happy with a more powerful switch. I mean, if there's a more powerful switch, yeah. Like I said, it doesn't matter to me. Like, it's getting, 
it's getting bought. If it's more powerful and it makes the games run better, great. If it's just a slight upgrade, makes the game better, runs a little bit better, but not as better as it would be with the pro version, great. I'm always gonna buy whatever Nintendo, like whatever systems Nintendo releases, I'm always gonna buy them. So, like if I'm buying PS4s and Xbox Ones, I'm sure as heck gonna buy, if I'm buying Xbox One X, I'm sure as heck gonna buy a Nintendo Switch upgrade. So, I mean, like, why not, man? Uh, why not? Uh, you don't think the Switch Pro would come before the PS5? I don't think they really have anything to do with each other, to be honest. Um, Shock Diamond says, I think it's a DS Lite situation, not the big power jump yet. DS, DS Lite was essentially just a, just a better quality, just a more attractive remodel. So, because the original DS was ugly as heck. Uh, so really the DS Lite was essentially just to make it look more attractive. That's pretty much it. Um, there wasn't many upgrades. I think they changed the speakers. Maybe the speakers were a little bit better quality. Um, I think they were changed around just a little bit. I'm not 100% sure on that. I know they might have changed like some of the placement with the on the system itself, but yeah, DS literally did nothing to the system, just out just cosmetic for the most part. Um, the original DS had bad lighting. I I mean, from what I saw, they were about the same. I, I mean, I have a DS, I have my original DS, I have a DS Lite, you know, I, I still have my original DS and DS Lite, so I don't I don't recall there being so much of a significant upgrade, but it is what it is. If you guys, if you guys are saying that the lighting wasn't as good, all right, well, there you go, the lighting, there you go, the lighting, lighting was the big upgrade. DSi actually had some real improvements though, because DSi had the the shop, DSi had uh, definitely speaker upgrade on the DSi, DSi had the camera. Or well, guys, remember the camera built into the DSi? There was a camera built into it. DSi had um, more RAM. Um, it was a stronger system, a little bit tiny, just a little bit, a little bit stronger. Uh, so yeah, DSI, DSI definitely, that was, that was more of an upgrade. Yeah. The original DS was worlds better than the GBA? Was it? I don't know, GBA was good. GBA So I mean, if Nintendo continued on with the GBA, I mean, they could have probably sold just as much. They were, so, the GBA literally sold like 20 million units a year. <laughs> like for the four years that it was really active it literally so I mean, it, the sales kind of fell off of a cliff after the ds kind of came out and got going ds was a little sluggish at the, at the beginning but then once ds got going i mean people could just buy ds and reverse compatible like the ds like eight swallowed the gba whole because the gba wasn't too much more cheaper than the ds the ds was only 150 dollars at launch that's all it was this was just, it was just 150, it wasn't expensive. And the GBA wasn't that much, you know, cheaper. So, and it had a, and you can play GBA games on the DS. So the DS just swallowed the GBA whole. If Nintendo would have continued with the GBA, I mean, who knows what, where the sales would have went, but they didn't. They just said, we got this DS that we can sell, you know? So they just, they quickly moved on. I've never, I mean, Nintendo moves on quickly from things, but I, I didn't expect them to move on that quickly from the GBA, considering the Game Boy was around for so long, you know? Um, shout outs to Fairy Tiger. Okay, Fairy Tiger with a dollar donation. Streamlabs, thank you so much. Appreciate the ninjas using Streamlabs today. A lot of you, thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. And he says, play Contra Jungle theme. Absolutely, this Persona theme was going on for a bit, so we'll play the Jungle theme. Contra is a great game. My, that's another game that me and my brother used to play for just hours. Man, we would just play Contra over and over and over. Hopefully, you guys can hear the music. It sounds good. Um, T Dude says, curious question. Do you think Electronic Arts will ever change their tune and release games on Switch XL when it launches? What the hell is a Switch XL, dude? T Dude, are you, make, are you making up stuff? I mean, just, you mean like the new Switch? I mean, you gotta phrase it better than that. When I read off that question, it makes it seem like you know what you're talking. Like, you act, there's actually fact. Like, how do we know it's a Switch XL? How do you know it's not smaller and stronger? I, I don't get that. I don't, I don't like the phrasing, T Dude. I don't like the phrasing. Uh,. <laughs> Um, and no, screw EA. They don't. I don't think Switch XL or new Switch is gonna change their mind on anything. No, screw EA. If you want EA games, go buy a PS4 or Xbox One. Um, so no, no. Uh, I made it up. <laughs> My bad, bro. Yeah, it's the phrasing. Just I don't like the phrasing because uh, it makes it seem as if it's like a real thing. Just say like the rumored n new Switch or something like that. Um, so yeah, I don't. We don't know if it's gonna be a Switch XL. The Switch is already big. It's already. It's already a big, it's not like, 
a tiny system. It's already here's a here's a mobile phone. Here's a mobile phone and here's a switch. You know what I'm saying? It's already a big a big system. I don't I don't think there's gonna be a it even you want a game gear? Is that what you want? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be even a bigger system. So like when you say switch excel, that doesn't I don't think that makes sense. Um I don't think they're gonna make it bigger. But you might be right. Maybe they do. I don't know. But no, EA sucks. And no, they're not going to they're not gonna do anything. They're not gonna do anything. Oh, you know what I figured out, guys? Check this out. Look, on my keyboard, I thought this was really cool. I want to show you guys. On my keyboard, look at that lighting on there. I didn't know you can change it. I just figured that out yesterday. Like when my all my keyboards stopped working. Look at that. And then like you have like red. This is what I usually have on. It's like see the red glow? Okay, but if I press this button, oh look. Oh, now it's blue. Blue glow. And then if I press this button. Now that has this like pink neon pink glow. That's really cool. I just thought I would show you guys. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Sorry. I caught my mic. Yikes. Okay. It, my mic almost dropped. My mic almost dropped. Ooh. Not this. Sorry about that. Ooh, that was close. Ooh. Uh, but anyway, yeah. The keyboard's cool. I just I just figured that out. I have had this keyboard for like months now. And I just figured that out. Uh, can I loop the color? I, I probably can loop the colors because there's all sorts of programming on this keyboard, but I have no idea how to do it. But yeah, I probably could loop the colors, but I have no idea. Let me press some buttons and see what happens. If I die, it's your fault. It's who, who said that? If I die, it's your fault, whoever said that. Uh, no, I don't see any looping, but I, I think I could, but I don't know. I don't know. It's not letting me. Um, <laughs> all this, this stream just cuts. Just cuts to nothing. All right. You guys got some more stuff with this whole... Uh, you guys got some more questions or anything on this new Nintendo Switch? I know you guys do. Because I know a lot of you guys couldn't make my streams earlier in the week that we talked about it like a million times. Uh, so, so yeah. Thank you, Sierra. I appreciate that, Sierra Herb. It is pretty cool. Um... I'm getting a message from my phone saying Tinder top picks are ready. I don't care about your top picks, Tinder. Those girls aren't real. Um, hey, OJ, another Viking invades your stream. Shoutouts, man. Welcome. Welcome to Viking Nation. We're here for you on the weekends. Um, we are here for you. Uh, could the new Switch replace the old model? I mean, I think it's somewhat possible. Yeah. Somewhat possible. Um, it's just says, I wish they would just make an empowered dock instead of uh, instead that pushes power more. The only problem with making a, a, a power dock that pushes it more, then you lose that uh, when you take it out of there. So that I think that's the probably the biggest problem is that you lose that power when you take the switch out of the dock. Um, so how will developers approach this? It's like, oh, let me use, like, there's so much more power when it's docked, but what if somebody doesn't like to play docked? What if somebody likes to play handheld? So I think keeping it within the system itself is probably your best bet. A dock, a dock power, I mean, they like I said, they could do it, but significantly improving the horsepower and everything with the dock, it really just kind of undercuts people that are playing, you know, portable mode. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's a, the best idea. I mean, they like I said, I've talked about supplemental computing device with the dock too. Uh, but like I said, we'll just have to wait and see. But if you like to play handheld mode, then it sucks because you might be losing that, you know, whatever it is, you know. Um, shout outs to Andy Mine with another $2 donation. And he says, the Viking uh, the Viking Essence is back in action with more great music. Also, I think people think this revision is going to be more than what people expect. It's going to be a DS Lite to 3DS XL model, most likely. Or, or do you mean like a DS? So that means you, you mean like a, a new Nintendo 3DS, right? Because that actually had a power bump, whereas the DS Lite didn't have any power bump. Uh, so I think you're thinking it's going to be like a remodel, looks better, and then also a slight bump. Okay, so I see what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of room for the Switch to look better. The actual base unit of the Switch itself, there's a lot of room for it to look better. So I can see like the DS Lite aspect and maybe even make it a little bit thinner. You know, make it a little bit thinner, a little bit slimmer, but then also the 3DS, um, new Nintendo 3DS XL type of aspect to where you uh, bump up the horsepower a bit, you know. So, yeah, absolutely, man. It makes the screen makes the screen bigger, you know, better resolution, stuff like that. So, yeah, absolutely, man. I agree. I, I agree, man. I agree. I agree. So let's go ahead and get let's get your music going. 
Appreciate that, Andy Mine. Thank you so much. I'm glad I can stream for you guys, all the, the Vikings out there. Glad I can stream for you guys earlier than usual. This is Azure Blue World, Emerald Coast from Sonic Adventure. Shout out to Andy Mine. Thank you. Um, let's see. 720p, 30 frames per second handheld, 1080p, 6 frames per second docked. I mean, that's true. But I mean, I think that it would be good if they can also somehow get that power into the system itself. And not have to rely on the dock, so you don't you don't split people. You know, you, you don't split what people can do, whether it's docked or not. That'd be good. You know, that'd be good. I think that'd be better than than using a dock. Um, shout outs to Fairy Tiger. Shout outs to the Viking Nation. Thank you guys so much, man. You guys are really supporting um, on these weekend streams. So thank you so much. I'm glad I can do these for you guys, and I'm excited too as well. Um, shout outs to uh, uh, Baton Kaitos. Origins, um, Evidento Material, that's Fairy Tiger's pick for music, so shout outs to that song, it's great, shout outs to Fairy Tiger as well for the dollar donation, do appreciate that, thank you guys for using Streamlabs as well, I do appreciate that, very streamer friendly, um, alright guys, yeah, let's see if we can get that like button up, we got 141 people watching, if you guys like this entertainment, you guys like this content, definitely hit that like button, let me know, um, so what else you guys got for me? I know you guys got more. Uh, th that's valid. It's just me. I prefer playing Doc. And yeah, and I get that. But uh, I think the only thing is that when you do it that way, it, you're going towards personal preferences and not towards kind of like what what it'd be for everybody. You know what I'm saying? So I think that overall, it, it better suits everybody if they can actually get that power inside the Switch itself and not rely on, on it being Doc. That's all I'm trying to say. Because, I mean, there might be, there might be some point to where you're like, man, I, I want to put my Switch portably. You know, and then you lose that benefit. Then you're like, man, like I don't have the same frame rate or I don't have the same, which it kind of happens already today, but it's not as bad, you know? But if they made it like a big gap, I think people that would kind of like dissuade people from actually using the Switch for what it's for, which is switching it up to possibilities, you know? So that's the only thing. I, I think that if they can get it built into the Switch rather than a dock, I think that'd be a good, that'd be a good idea. Um, because then you'd still have your power. Like when, when, when the Switch is docked, you'd still get your power, you know? And they can still boost it a little bit more because you have to remember when the switch is in portable mode, it's underclocked a bit. It doesn't run quite as strong as it could. It's gimped a little bit because they don't want the system to explode in your hands, battery life and all that. So even if they made the switch more powerful inside the system, and then when you dock it, it's still going to get a bump. It's still going to get the bump that you know that you can. But I, it would just be um, I don't know what would happen to the switch. How hot the switch itself would get if you really juiced up the power of a dock, you know? Um, like, then, like, what happens from there? Like, will the USB-C explode? You know, like, I, I, I think that there, there might be some issues there, too. Um, but like I said, I'm no tech head or anything like that. Um, what else you guys got for me? Dank Meme Center says, uh, yeah, I know what you're saying, Norman, uh, Norman but no, they're not, they're not gonna make it, like, a $399 price. That's not gonna happen, dude. Take Meme Center says, uh, player says, I think the new switch will increase battery performance, removable backplates, 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Uh, Dink Meme Center, that's too much internal storage. Do you mean, do you mean 128 gigabytes of solid state memory? Like, no, that's, that's, that's way too much, uh, way, 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 way too much, uh, memory. Um, they're not going to do that. That's going to make the system 128 gigabytes of solid state memory. That's too much. That's expensive. So, just to give you guys, solid state memory, is really expensive. Um, and uh, having 120 gigabytes would jump the price up too high. So that's not going to happen. Now, Nintendo including, a, like, a, let's say a 32 gigabyte memory card or a 64 gigabyte memory card, that's more likely than actually giving you 120. If you met, like, 120 gigabytes, like, with, like you know, in the system, like, solid state memory, that's too much. It's going to cost too much for that. Um... Let's see here. Uh, player says, uh, I'm not sure you've talked about this, but what do you think about having analog triggers in the new one? I I hate analog triggers. I, and I'll be honest, I've never, people always talk about analog triggers for like shooters. I've never 
never been a big never been a fan of analog triggers never ever have i been a fan if i want to shoot something i'm going to shoot something i'm not going to slowly pull just snap and let me shoot you know like i don't I, or like racing games like i know for racing games maybe but i either just go or i don't go in a racing game if i need to like slow down or something i'm just going to let go and like tap i'm just gonna tap i don't i don't ever slowly put my fingers on a, on a, on an analog trigger or slowly pull or not like, i don't I don't ever do that for any game. Even like when they when there was analog, I I I just don't do that. I don't I don't like analog triggers, and I never have. I've always liked just straight buttons. Uh, but then again, like I said, the type of games that I, I play RPGs, I play you know action games. You don't need to pull like this is for shooters and racers. But even then, like even for shooters, like I don't I don't like it. I, where's my Xbox? I have an Xbox One Elite controller. I don't know where it's at, but on the Elite controller, they actually have it to where you can put these little snap thingies to where it makes it more like a digital button press like it shortens it you know shortens the pull and i put that on there um just because i've ne like i said i've never been a big fan of analog uh trigger like analog triggers i hate i hate them um but that's just but like i said that's just me that's just me um what's up nintendo prime good to see you here my guy shout out to nintendo prime prime go ahead and link your channel man um if you haven't already done so make sure you guys check out nintendo prime he does live streaming he does uh vi gameplay videos he does uh, he does uh, news videos. He does all sorts of stuff. Make sure you guys check out Nintendo Prime's channel when you get the opportunity. Um, let's see here. Uh, Plus, yeah, you're 100 percent right. I don't want to buy a console again. I already have four of them. <laughs> Tell me why do you uh, why do you 1080p in a small seven inch screen? I mean, it, yeah, it doesn't really make too much of a difference on a screen that small, but it does just kind of clear things up a little bit. I mean, this is t this is like. 4k or something my phone there's like 4k in small screens you know so th this is even a smaller screen phones and those have like higher resolutions you know so i mean that'd be the only thing but also like vr with vr you would need a 1080p screen or you need actually more than 1080p so that'd be the only thing that i would think for people really wanting to improve the you know on there uh let's see well review tech said he could see a 512 gigabytes of solid state internal that's just not i mean like i said i can that's just not i don't think that's gonna happen did he really say 512 gigabytes i mean i watched this video i don't remember that part i was editing while i watched this video though so maybe i wasn't paying attention but i don't think he really thinks that there's gonna be 512 like like of solid state memory like there's i don't think there's any way that that's gonna happen um uh i don't i don't think there's any way i, I don't know if he said that. i'm not sure if he said that i don't i don't recall that did he really say that I think he was saying possibilities. I don't think he said that he think that's gonna happen. I gotta rewatch the video, man. I got, I really gotta rewatch that video that he made. Um, let's see. Out of date gamer Dorkman says I would pay five hundred sixty dollars for a Switch Ultimate. <laughs> well, you would, but I don't know if everybody else would. But no, I see what you're saying. Eric Popovich says all we can confirm is a better screen. We can't confirm anything, to be honest. All we can say is that Wall Street Journal made a uh, has sources that they say is going to. Uh, stupid freaking dude my solid dude i i can't stand this hard drive i'm just gonna i'm gonna have to redo all of my downloaded like uh files for like the stuff that i have gameplay and stuff i'm just gonna have to redownload them to my internal pc because it's just it's just disconnecting and reconnecting i changed the cables i unplugged replugged i changed the usb hubs i changed it i tried plugging it directly in it's just this thing's just jacked this thing's completely jacked so whatever um let's see here i wish the ps4 wasn't 300 dollars I still got to get a PS4. That's not expensive, but you should wait till Black Friday. Black Friday PS4s go down to like $200 or something like that. Uh, but $300 for a system is not expensive. You got to you got to save up a little bit of money, man. Save up a little I don't know how your situation is though. I don't know how your situation is. You might be a kid, you might be somebody that just I mean, you got a lot of bills, you know. So I'm not even going to sit here and try to manage money like that. But um yeah, just save I mean, if you save up a little bit, you should have had one by now, right? If you save if you save 20 bucks, if you save 20 bucks a month, you'll have a PS4 in no time right if you save 20 bucks a month for a year you'll have a ps4 note you'll have a ps4 by the end of the year you'll literally have enough money for at least a used ps4 by the end of the year 20 bucks a month or if you want you can like since we're what are we at we're in october but like if, if you if you want if you really want a ps4 try to save 20 bucks a month just save 20 take a 20 and put it away no matter what don't eat that extra mcdonald's don't go out to that save that money for six seven months You'll have almost the amount of money that you need for a PlayStation 4. It's not even that bad, you know? Um, so, yeah, like 10 months, was that, 20? That's 200 bucks. So, I mean, and then maybe you can trade in a couple different things, trade in some games. Maybe you can do a little bit of extra time at work. And bam, you've got yourself a PS4. And, and a used PS4, 
Um, they're selling used PS4s on eBay for $174.99. People who just don't want their PS4s anymore. Or $191. People, yeah, fifteen hundred and seventy-five dollars and ninety-nine cents with fifteen dollars shipping, and good people that are trusted sellers, five stars, four out of five that stars. So I mean, I don't, I don't see what the issue is here. You should have, a, if you really want one, just save up some money and get one. I'm just, I don't think one hundred and seventy-five dollars used is a bad price. Um, my girl's Starbucks habit uh, could fund a diamond, uh, a diamond mine in Africa. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. My uncle used to work at Nintendo. I know he knows the, the Nintendo 4DS. Yeah, man. Um, he says, I know, OJ, but there are so many games on Switch uh, I'm getting for Christmas this year. I just got to start working for it, do the lawn, and get ready for next year my birthday. I know use this cheap. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, you, you're younger then if you're waiting for stuff for Christmas and all that. Yeah, then you're definitely younger. So, yeah, man. I mean, that's just, I mean, like, that's just what it is. I mean, like I said, and like, here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Jaden. Uh, this is all, this is something that most kids, unless your family's rich or your family gets you whatever you want, this is something that most kids go through. Uh, don't feel bad. You know, when I was a kid, I went through the same thing. Um, but that's why it's, I mean, like, you know, have good friends, have people that have PS4 so you can play it at their house and, you know, stuff like that. But I mean, this is just, this is just a part of the growing up process. You know, this is, this is part of growing up. You, you got to go through stuff like that. You know, you got to take what you got. Um, gaming is a privilege. Remember, it's not your right. It's a privilege. Um, to be able to play games um, and just like, like like I said eventually one of these days trust me you'll have more than enough money to have games and you're going to end up just like me where you're going to end up pointing back like this and having like a worried face pointing back at your wall of unplayed of backlogged of games and systems that are just piled up here I have systems piled up over here I've got playstations in both PlayStation and Xboxes in both rooms, you're going to end up like me eventually. Trust me. Trust me. Most people do. Most adults end up that way where you you have the money to buy things. You know, you're working, you're doing the best, but then time comes a factor. So you're, you're going, you might, end, you might end up like me. Eventually, you're going to get everything that you want. You know, uh, you're, you're going to get everything that you want, man. Um, so, yeah. You said my backlog could have been getting interest in my savings account. Yeah, I know, man. Dude, my backlog is insane. Oh, my gosh. My backlog is insane. It's too much. Oh, man. It's too much. Uh, it's too much. Um, Let's see here. So, what else? Do you guys have anything else when it comes to the whole Nintendo Switch? Uh, Nintendo Switch whatever i think i forgot to play somebody's track i think did i forget to play somebody's music i'm looking over no i don't know i didn't i didn't no i didn't forget to play anybody's music excuse me oh no i did the uh botan botan katos i did forget i forgot fairy tiger's music i thought so i thought something was in the back of my head wait hold up okay no andy mine donated another two dollars while i was ranting he says, let's keep the songs going. Another sonic banger on the way. Okay, let me play the uh, Batin Kaitos music first. I forgot I forgot a number of songs. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot a number of songs. Um, man, I really want Batin Kaitos to come back, man. You're making me all nostalgic with this uh, with this with this music, Fairy Tiger. Let's get it. And then we'll get Andy's song. Thank you for another $2 donation, Andy. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Uh, let's see here. Uh, out of date gamer Dorkman says, uh, I have unopened games for all systems from last Black Friday. I have un I have an unopened copy of freaking uh, uh, Halo 5. <laughs> it's like, what, three years ago? 2015? Uh, yeah, man. So I know how you feel. Um, VCIPZ says, it will probably be $400, 64GB internal storage, slightly bigger screen, and an hour more battery life. Will either Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, Splatoon 2, or Mario Kart 8 free with the download code? Nah, I don't think Nintendo's gonna jump the price up to 400 I don't think so. Nah. 
any anytime Nintendo's done a revision, and the reason why I say no, I don't think so, is because anytime Nintendo's done a revision, they've never jumped. Up, you're, you're talking about a hundred dollar price jump. I don't think they're gonna do a hundred dollar price jump. Um, so no, I don't think I don't think so. I don't think four hundred dollars. Um, not only that, but I don't think the type of upgrades that you're talking about, um, sixty four gigabytes of internal storage for a hundred dollars more, slightly bigger screen, battery life. I mean, coming with coming with uh, download code, yeah. I mean. That, that's that's good, I guess, but for 400 I don't see that as being like a primary bundle um, that they would do. Um, I don't see that as that happening. Um, that's too expensive for Nintendo to do in a, in a primary bundle. Um, I can see them doing as like, let's say, um, like an ex extra bundle, you know, like maybe, you know, like a holiday bundle or something like that where you get like a couple different games. You get like 1-2 Switch and Legend of Zelda. Uh, you get like, you know, the, the Switch, the next Switch, and you get like extra stuff with it. But it being the primary way that they release the system, no, that's too expensive. That's too expensive. A hundred dollar jump for, for that? I don't think so. Uh, and Nintendo's never done that before. Come up with a revision on, from any system. It doesn't matter if it's the Nintendo 3DS. They've never done a hundred dollar jump from where they at, were at before. That's that's just, I, I can't see Nintendo doing that. That'd be uncharted territory. Which, there's always a first time for everything, but when it comes to pricing and all that, Nintendo's been fairly consistent with pricing and stuff like that. They like to keep in a, they like to keep in a price range, anywhere between, usually between, you know, um, my glasses are about to break. I actually ordered new glasses because these ones, these ones actually snapped. Um, actually, it snapped right off. So I actually ordered new glasses. They're coming in the mail. I don't know when though. So these ones are just kind of, and it feels weird when I put them on. It just doesn't doesn't feel right. So I don't really like wearing them, but I have to protect my eyes. But yeah, they they snapped. The top broke right here, and now it's just like it feels kind of like weird right here on my on my ears. So I don't even know if I want to wear them. But anyway, whatever. Um, you said I'm trying to speak realistically. I. That's I don't know how real that is. Uh, shut up, yo! What is this, Toby Blaster? Who is this? My boy, oh Andre! Yo, shout outs to Andre White with the Toby Blaster. This uh, OJ hit that play button on that Buck Bumble. Oh God! I really thought after you got your Buck. First of all, shout outs to shout outs to one of the cleanest dudes in player S's, my boy Andre. Uh, shout out to sponsoring Buck Bumble Day coming up this upcoming week. Um, Andre, I've got the stuff ordered, my boy. I've got it ordered, but it seems like it's going to take a week to get here. These people are fronting on here. So I'm going to try to see if I'm going to order another one. I'm going to try to see if I can get some expedited shipping on there. If not, we'll do emulator. You know, we'll and then we'll do another one. So if I do an emulator Buck Bumble Day for you guys, we'll make sure that I do another one with the actual direct capture Buck Bumble. So... Um, so here's the here's the deal. Let me just talk about this real quick. So shout out to Andre for the twenty dollars donation. So we're we're doing we're doing Buck Bumble Day. Um, but if I have to use an emulator because this 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 uh, equipment is taking too long to get here, we'll do two Buck Bumble Days because that's not right. Because Andre sponsored a real Buck Bumble Day with the actual N sixty four, you know, and everything like that. So, but we won't stop not having Buck Bumble Day. So I'll do an emulator Buck Bumble Day, and then we'll do another real Buck Bumble Day uh, with all the festivities and giveaways and stuff that we're going to do for it that we're having planned so look forward to that next week guys um buck bumble day for sure and at the least at the very least we'll have another stream a buck bumble stream where we'll talk about the lore i'll find out more information i might even try to see if i can find one of the original developers to come on and talk about buck bumble uh with us so i might even go that far if i can't get everything set for the stream so uh we can do that um, but shout outs, Andre. Thank you so much. Also, Fury Tiger for the doll donation as well. So let's continue to uh, Botin Kato's music, emotional blackmail. All right, so we'll definitely get that. So we do have um, Andy Mine. His his track is next, so I'm pretty sure it's a Sonic track. Um, so we will get that Sonic track going, and then we're going to get uh, Buck Bumble after that. So uh, shout outs, Andre. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, <laughs> Toby Shimmy. So shout outs, guys. Uh, but VCIPZ, I mean, I can see what you're talking about. Like, maybe like a bundle. Like, I'm not completely dismissing what you're saying, VCIPZ. Um, like, I'm not dismissing that as like an extra bundle, but as like the main, like the main thing that they put out. I don't know. You know, that's all I'm trying to say. I don't know. Maybe like an extra bundle, yes. Um, let's see here. Um, what else you guys got for me? Tag me at Player Essence or hashtag Player Essence. 
Kentucky Cruise says Super Mario Party is fun, but like, okay, we're not talking about Super Mario Party right now. We're talking about um, Buck Bumble. No, I'm talking. We're talking about the Nintendo Switch and all that. Uh, we're, we'll, we'll we'll get to Super Mario Party in just a bit. With Super Mario Party in just a bit. Um, why are you going so far for a meme? How am I? How dude? Do you not look at the top of the screen, my boy? Andy, I know you probably weren't here earlier. But look at the top of the screen. Look at that weekly top weekly top ninja. Andrew Wine, 270. But before that, it was 250. My guy donated to, for me to get the equipment and to do it. He, he, Andre is sponsoring this event because he wants to sponsor it for the entertainment of the community. He's being an elite ninja at this point. He's sponsoring entertainment for you guys. My Buck Bumble stream. You guys freaking absolutely loved my Buck Bumble stream. People freaking watched that after it was done. They're like, what is this Buck? People were entertained by buck bumble so i plan to entertain and if andre wants to sponsor a freaking buck bumble day if he's gonna do that then we're gonna do it shill essence in full effect if you guys want to sponsor days of games that i hate you know what i'm saying feel free <laughs> feel feel free to do so <laughs> feel, feel shill essence will be in full effect okay <laughs> shill essence in full effect so I'm not I'm not just doing this just because my boy Andre is hooking us up, man. <laughs> um, he's feeding my boy exactly. Uh, well, well, to be honest though, to be honest, a lot of the uh, like I said funds go to uh, Ninja Fund so we can you know order equipment so we can get things like that. So like I said, I ordered a bunch I ordered a bunch of blinds and I ordered a bunch of styrofoam from soundproofing. So you guys, I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I would think that the voice quality is just a little, a little bit better because of the voice. You can, you can actually kind of see it through the, the back right over here, right there, right there where my thumb is. You guys see like that red and black? I actually soundproofed the bottom of those walls because while the, the posters were blocking some of the sound, I don't think it was that great for some of my videos when I'm a little bit further back. Or if I'm talking like, because I'm going to start doing videos behind like the, the bookshelf again. So I felt like there was a little bit of a bounce, you know? Uh, so... So yeah, so I did get some sound, more soundproofing and things like that. Uh, what up, Shill Essence? What up? Uh, how about a gun gal day? A talk, you want to sponsor a gun gal day, my boy? Feel free. Feel free. <laughs> sponsor days, though. Sponsor days. It's got to be enough to, one, of course, cover the game. And also cover if there's equipment that needs to be extra. But I mean, obviously, Buck Bumble Day... I needed to get extra equipment for gun gal i wouldn't need to get extra equipment so and then also giveaways and stuff too i mean obviously it wouldn't have to be like a ton of i'm not trying to say oh you got to give me like a million dollars or anything like that or like 100 something but if you want to sponsor a day and to where like you know because like i said you know andre's name's gonna be up on there on there saying this is sponsored by him his social media if he wants me to um and like i said i'm gonna also put in for prizes and other things like that and it's gonna be like a it's not gonna be like an hour stream it's gonna be like an all night thing you know what i'm saying like i haven't done this before so i gotta make it special uh but yeah if you guys want to sponsor certain games or certain days let me know we can definitely work something out but like i said it'll be like a all it's gonna be like an all night thing not like a one or two hour thing it's gonna be like an all night thing <laughs> you know so there you go um <laughs> i prefer coach essence rant essence <laughs> I know when Jordan when Jordan roasted me, called me coach. You look like I look like a high school football coach with my with, when I was wearing my collar shirt. <laughs> Here's the thing, guys. When I wear my collar shirts, it's because your boy's being a little bit cheap on air conditioning, and I ain't trying to have the air conditioner like at 74 or 75 the whole time that I'm streaming. And those collar shirts are all uh, golf shirts. They're all anti sweat resistant and everything, so they keep me a lot more dry than regular t shirts. Because, like I said, your boy's not trying to have the air conditioner at 74 75 to get that $200 PG&E bill. So, you know, like I said, that, that's really what's going on when I when I wear my collar shirts, guys. It's just too hot for me to, you know, for me to wear a normal shirt. Um, anyway, uh, shout outs to Aron with the $1.99 donation through Super Chat. It says, can you play P5 Willpower? Sure. And Eric Popa, which says donated $5 to Super Chat, says Coach Essence. <laughs> shout outs, shout outs. All right, so the next song is, oh, God, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> are, are you guys ready? I'm not dancing. No, I'm joking. Uh, I got to do a little shimmy for Buck Bumble. You guys ready? You guys ready on the count of three, two, one.
What about now? It's time to rock with the bigger the back. Bam bum. What about now? It's time to rock with the bigger the back. Bam bum. Bum to the bum to the bum to the bass. Bum to the bum to the bum bum. Bum to the bum to the bum to the bass. Bum to the bum to the bum bum. Bum to the bum to the bum to the bass. Bum to the bum to the bum bum. Bum to the bum to the bum to the bass. Bum to the bum to the bum bum. Bum to the boot to the boot to the boot boot. Bum to the bass to the bass bass bass. Bum to the boot to the boot to the boot boot. Bum to the bass to the bass bass bass. <laughs> shout outs to shout outs to, to Andre with the twenty dollar Buck Bumble. I don't, the thing with Buck Bumble, guys. Let me just turn it down just a little bit so you guys can hear my voice too. The thing with Buck Bumble, I only take Toby Blasters enough for Buck Bumble because the Mevo fan tried to abuse, tried to abuse the the music system that I have here. Try to abuse and try to do a dollar donation for Buck Bumble. I'm like no. Cause you guys get that requesting Buck Bumble over and over with, with small. I said Toby Blaster and up, then Andre says, "Oh, Toby Blaster and up, okay." <laughs> That's the only way I'll play this song. That's the only way. Oh my gosh! Like, you should shimmy to this all night Buck Bumble essence. Well, I gotta play the game. Are you talking about like I'm the sponsor, like I'm the stream? I think we need a Buck Bumble emo. I think I think we might need one. I think we might need one. Um. I'm doing good, dumb guy gaming. How are you doing today, man? How you doing today? Yo, what's up, George? My boy George. George is having a live stream tonight, guys. Um, make sure you have the spawn cast on and you also have George's uh, live stream on because he is giving away a copy of Mega Man 11. Mega Man 11 tonight, $29.99 value. Brand new copy of Mega Man 11 coming straight to you guys to one lucky viewer. So 6 o'clock p.m. PT, George, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, George is having, a, I think it's Undertale, Undertale stream. So make sure you guys check that out. I also retweeted it on Twitter. So make sure you guys check that out. Um, Jetty, Jetty donated $5 and says for your Switch Online service. Okay, you guys are going to start giving me Switch Online funds? All right, so I got $5 covered for next year. That's cool. Okay, Switch Online funds. It's like the pizza fund, but for Switch Online. <laughs> Nice, man. Nice, nice. Guys, ready for that Buck Bumble? Thank you. Thank you, Andre. I appreciate the, the Toby Blaster donation. Really do appreciate that. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Buck Bumble and my shimmy and the quad dance. Shout out to Michael O'Brien for naming that dance. The dance that I do like this is the only the second dance that we can ever do on Player Essence. We only used to just do shimmy, you know? Uh, but uh, the quad that we made that up, we Michael O'Brien named it the quad because we were talking about AAA games and we need more A's. So like four A's in a game. So like whenever a game came up that you know like that that needs that triple A you do that quad dance you know you need you need more you know what I'm saying um, so shout outs um, let's see here I think we have another one Pers uh, Persona Five and that's Willpower thank you for all the music requests today guys you guys got some bangers y'all got some bangers y'all got some bangers. All right, let me know how it sounds, guys. Um, let's see here. Uh, what other... I think we should move on, right? I think we should move on. So, let's talk about Super Mario Party, guys. So, last night, I was playing Super Mario Party with the PE community. We had a PE Ultimate with Super Mario Party, but we had to cut it short with the Super Mario Party because there's not much to it. There's not much to it at all, guys. It's just kind of bare bones uh, with the online multiplayer. But I played the single player... Um, and if you have friends around you, Super Mario Party is a blast. I think that it's probably one of the best Super Mario Parties. With friends around you, it's very good. Um, because, like, the rage and all the thing that happens, like, that was transferred a little bit to online. It's just the online is just, there's only 10 mini games. There's no board, there's no board, boards on there online. Um, and it's just like, just like, like I said, not much. Um, so hopefully they add content to the online. Um, but the, the, the single player, if you have friends around you, it's very good and you should pick it up. You should definitely pick it up if you have friends around you. Oh, once again, Nintendo gave me a review copy for the game, by the way. Um, it's, it, it's good with friends. It's good with friends. Uh, the debate that I see though, um, is that like people talk about like pro controller support versus like not having pro controller support. And I think that this is like, well, I sympathize with people who want pro controller support. This is really like a, either you're with us or against this type of thing. 
Because I'm pretty sure Nintendo experimented with Pro Controller support, right? But the problem is that you can't make the mini games the way that you want to make them. Because with Pro Controller support, people who have Pro Controller would have a decisive advantage over people who don't have Pro Controller. So it's either you make the games mini, you, you make the games motion controlled or mini games, you know, with that, or you don't. I don't think you can mix and match because people who have Pro Controller would be able to easily beat some people without Pro Controller support on some games. Like for example, the um, like the cooking mini game, you know, um, and 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 other games uh, like the flying game, you know, being able just to easily be able to control with the control stick would just be a lot easier and faster than people with motion control. So that, I think they really had to pick: do we make this a Joy-Con motion control game with HD Rumble, or do we go with standard control games? So they pick they pick Joy Cons. I think that's what it comes down to. Um, music is a little low. All right, let me replay it then, since it was a little low the whole time. And let me see. How about how about not at this point, guys? I'll re I, I'm replaying the track. Shout outs to Andy with the two dollar donation just right now. Streamlab shimmy. He said, "Did you say bangers?" I'm guessing it's another Sonic song. Shout out to Andy, man. I appreciate the stream labs. I appreciate the multiple donations, homie. I really do, Andy. Thank you. How's the music now, guys? So that's essentially there's good and bad. Like I, I, I don't have a rating for it yet. I, I might do a full review for it. I might not. But if I just off the top of my head, you know, I'd give it like a seven out of ten. I'd give it something like that, like a seven, seven point five out of ten. It's a solid game with friends. You, you can't deny like the local multiplayer is very, very fun. Very fun. There's only four boards, but they're very fun boards, and the mini games are great. Uh, all the mini games that I played when I when I played it offline, they were fun. It was just the computers are idiots. Uh, but whenever I have people over, well, if I ever have people over, uh, then that's definitely something that we're gonna do. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And if they improve the online, the, the, that score might go up. You know. Um, shout out to Fairy Tiger with the two dollar donation. Says uh, Bots and Kato's Origins, terrible technology. All right, man, we'll definitely get that going for you. Um, and actually, I skipped over. I skipped over your song, um, Fairy Tiger. So um, we have to play Bots and Kato's Origins Emotional Blackmail. We'll play that right after we're done with this song. And then we'll move into um, Andy Mindside and then your song again, Fairy Tiger. I'm sorry, I'm just getting a lot of, lot of donations. Just thank you guys, I appreciate that. Um, I'll go get some food, Aaron. Go get some food, go, go get some food, come back. I'll, I'll still be streaming, man. I'll wait for you, go get some food. I'm not, I'm not going to stop streaming anytime soon, so if you want to go get some food and come back, go ahead and do it. Um, Alright, take it easy. Take it easy, John. Have a good time watching Florida versus LSU. I think it's tech, it's, I think it's the Red River rivalry this week too, right? Uh, Texas versus Oklahoma. Um, So yeah, that's kind of what I think about uh, Super Mario Party right now, guys. Good game. Uh, just has some a little a, a few problems here and there, um, but like I said, they, I think they kind of had to pick, like I said, between uh, motion controls or not, or pro controller or not. Um, some games wouldn't be able to be played with the pro controller too. I mean, th I think there's some stuff that's just it'd be hard to do. I mean, you could do it, but it'd just be hard to do. Um, but anyway, um, what else you guys got for me? Look up to Super Mario Party. Any of you guys playing the game having fun? Um, all right, so let me get that next music going. Emotional blackmail. We really need a new Bots and Kaitos game. Did I say that, Fury Tiger? I'm not sure if I said that already, but we really need a new one. Let me check out your channel, George. Let me make sure. YouTube unsubscribed me to you, by the way. All right, cool. Yeah, you're still. I'm still subscribed. I just remember I couldn't stand. I couldn't stand that Doki Doki Literature Club, man. That game. I couldn't, man. I couldn't. I couldn't do it that game, bro. When you kept on playing that game, I was like, I'm. I, I had the streams on, but I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I could not do it. The Doki Doki game, dude. That was a game that I just couldn't do. I could, just couldn't do. Just could not do that. That weirdo game, man. All right. 
I think I, <laughs> there are people who felt the same way. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. I I know people like that game, but I just could I could not take the Doki Doki anymore, man. Although, although looking over things, those were some of your best viewed videos were the Doki Doki games. So maybe you shouldn't listen to me, okay? Because like if you look at your Kingdom Hearts views or like Hollow Knight. You know, those are a lot lower than Doki Doki. And the Doki Doki videos are way longer, for the most part, than some of your other videos, yet they're getting good good amount of views. So maybe you don't listen to what I have to say and go back to Doki Doki, since people are actually watching that on your... You gotta do what people like, though. You know, you gotta, if, you gotta do what people like. So if people like Doki Doki Literature Club, then play it, because that's what's, that's what's getting people to go to your channel. You know? Rank the Super Mario boards? I have no idea about the rank of the Super Mario boards. They, they're all they're all cool. They're all okay. Um Doki Doki boys. Do so you guys have anything else on Super Mario Party? If not, we can move on to um we can move on to uh, questions. If you guys got random questions, comments, all that, I know some of you guys did. Go ahead and put them in there. Uh, hashtag me, at Player Essence, at Player Essence for those, um, and I'll answer you guys' questions. We'll go ahead and get into the last part here. Um, the next music is uh, Andy Mine uh, with, uh, he, said, he says that Andy Mine says this is a banger. So let's see if this is a banger or not. Sonic Adventure 2, keys to the, keys, keys the ruin pyramid cave, Sonic Adventure 2. It's a little bit of a banger, it's a bang, a little bit of a banger voice. Player Essence what? If you have any questions, my boy, Thank you, Center, let me know. Rusty uh, Caulfield says, versus, let's go Astros back to back. Alright, let's go. Let's go Astros. I'm not a baseball guy myself. All right, Andre says, uh, at work, so I won't stay long. See you. Uh, oh, yo, thanks, 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 Andre. I appreciate the donation, even when you're at work, homie, or when you're going to work, or whatever, when you have work. I appreciate that, man. Like I said, setting up for your, setting up for the Buck Bumble stream, my boy. Thank you for the support of the channel. Sir, seriously, like, you're awesome, man. Freaking, you're an elite ninja with the membership, and also, like I said, sponsoring and everything like that, man. I really do appreciate that, homie. I really do. I really do. I honestly... Bottom of my heart, I appreciate everything, man. I really do. Thank you. Uh, what's up, Gucci Dolphin? What's up, my boy? Good to see you here, of course. Dick Beep Center says, uh, Players, what are your thoughts on the Super Mario Party only having four boards, while other Mario Party games have at least six boards? I don't really think the boards are the problem, to be honest, because uh, there's there's 80 mini games, so there's there's plenty of content um, in the game. So I don't think I don't really think the boards are a problem, and they can roll out new content as well. The other the other Mario Party games aren't going to get new content. This one's probably going to get new boards and new content. So no, I don't, I don't have a problem with it. Um. Any other questions, guys? Are you guys are you guys good for today? I'd love to keep the stream going, answer more questions, play some more cool music. I think the boards are just like a the boards are just like an extra thing when it comes to Mario Party. Uh, the mini games are always what makes Mario Party Mario Party, and like the mini games are really good. So I mean, four boards. I mean, yeah, whatever, six boards or more on the other games, but that's not really. But it's about per se. Once they get into the boards, like when you're playing the mini games, the mini games are fun. Uh, that's the biggest thing. The mini games are fun. There's a lot of them. But just like I said, the online needs to be ramped up a bit. Um, if they add more boards, but then still have the same amount of mini games, then I mean, I guess that's good. But I mean, if they add more boards, then I'd say add some mini games as well. You know. Uh, thank you, Senses. Plus, will you do a 24-hour Smash stream? I won't do a 24-hour Smash stream, but I'll definitely do a long Smash stream. Definitely do a long Smash stream. At least, like, maybe, like, four hour blocks. Like, four hours, then take a break. Four hours, then take a break, you know? Three hours, take a break. So, it'll definitely be consistent Smash streams throughout the whole, the whole time period. So, yeah. OJ, play the Mortal Kombat movie intro, please. Oops. I accidentally timed you out while trying to find the Mortal Kombat movie intro. It was an accident, though. I swear it was an accident. 
My bad, dude. I was trying to find your Mortal Kombat movie intro, and I accidentally timed you out. My bad, dude. Sorry about that. Um, Gucci Dolphin says, OJ, who will you play first on Smash? Uh, I'll probably check out Sheik. All right, moving on to the next uh, music request here from uh, Fury Tiger. It's Baton Kato's uh, Origins. Terrible technology. All right, here we go. A new fighter in Smash, too much testosterone. Dude, there's already so many fighters already. I don't really care who they add or not anymore. At this point, I'm good. Just just let us play the game. The music's too loud. Well, it's too late now. There, I, I adjusted the music, so hopefully this one's not too loud. Let's see, PB says, Plus, are you still doing the workshop teaching us about video game equipment and how to grow the channel? Yeah, that'll be tomorrow. I decided that tomorrow would be a better day than today. So yeah, that's PB, that's tomorrow. Um, it's going to be around, it's going to be before NFL games. So I'm going to try to have the workshop like around like nine something, 9.30 a.m. my time. Uh, PT, so that's uh, 1230. I'm gonna try to have it around that time. Big Beam Center says, players, uh, how much um, how much you're paying for Smash Bros. Ultimate on Switch? And will you pay Reggie fils at Evo 2019? That question barely makes sense. How much, how much am I paying? I think you meant play? How much are you... That question doesn't make sense, dude. I'm sorry, man. The question does not make sense. Black God says, uh, player, since, uh, you like Resident Evil games? I do. I was looking at Resident Evil 2 Remake and it looks clean. Yeah, I'm getting that game. I'm going to be playing on the channel too. Uh, yeah, I like Resident Evil games. Uh, Resident Evil 4 is one of my favorite games of all time. And I'll be picking up Resident Evil Remake on the Xbox One X. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Any other questions, guys? Or are we all questions out? You guys ready for the workshop tomorrow? If you're only going for an hour, 20 minutes, I can go for longer, but it seems like you guys... I think I, I, think I live streamed so much and you guys asked so many questions. Uh, you guys are all questioned out. Workshop. All right. It's good. I guess it's good to talk about the workshop. So tomorrow I will be hosting um, a very easy, super newbie beginner's guide to YouTube. Um, if you want to get into making content, um, doing a channel, uh, how to get started, kind of where to go to, you know, so I will be hosting a workshop um, on how to help out with people, a live workshop, and you guys can ask questions and all that. So, so yeah. Um, although I will, I will be very blunt here, guys. Um, my mods and myself will be pretty strict on the chat. So, Steven, if you're watching, if you come to my workshop and you start talking nonsense because it's a workshop, you're just going to be you're going to be you're going to be timed out. You're actually you're just going to be banned for the rest of that day, and I'll unban you later. So, I mean, like people who are coming there to troll or who come in there to be disparaging, or even if you're just coming there like to joke around, like, it's not really for people to joke around. I don't want people putting bad information. So, I am letting you guys know that it is going to be somewhat strict on the workshop and what you guys, you know, because like people really are coming there to learn. And the chat can be derailed by people just saying stupid, like silly things or being off topic. So, it, it is a workshop for people to learn and kind of get better. Um, so, just letting you guys know, fair, fair, fair warning. Fair warning to people that are trying to come in just to troll or something like that. You'll you'll be hidden instantly. So just letting you guys know. Um, because I don't want people getting bad information. I don't want to be distracted by people saying silly things in the chat when I'm trying to read comments and all that. 
Um, if you guys want to troll or whatever, if you, like I said, people troll and people joke around here all the time, which I always have fun with that. But with the workshop tomorrow, guys, I'm trying to help people out. This is, you know, for some people might turn into a career for some people might turn into some help them, you know, help them help their family, whatever the case is. So it's going to be a little bit serious tomorrow. So I want to really make sure uh, that I help people and we can't have people coming in and saying ridiculous things and all that in the chat. So you'll be hitting pretty quickly or you'll be timed out very quickly um, if you do come in and try to say stuff like crazy stuff. So just let fair warning. Um. What's wrong with Mario Party? Uh, really, the issues with Mario Party, uh, Super Mario Party on the Switch, is just the online is not very good because it doesn't have enough mini games, uh, doesn't have the boards as well. Um, some people don't like the fact that there's no pro controller support, but I understand the decision. I think it was okay. Um, and also, there's some people don't like the fact that there's only four boards. Um, I'm not as big on that because like there's 80 mini games and the mini games are really fun. Um, there's also, uh, I think that's really, that's the biggest problem. Uh, yeah, no online boards as well. Yeah, no online boards. So yeah, that's really it. If, if, the, if Mario Party had online boards and, um, more mini games to play online in the mini game rush mode, then people wouldn't be as upset with it. But overall, it's still a fun Mario Party. I don't think anybody who's reviewed the game, who has played the game, thinks that it's a bad game. It's actually fun. Uh, you're seeing a lot of sevens. You're seeing, you're not really seeing a lot of bad scores. You're just seeing a lot of sevens, maybe eights, sevens and eights. So it's like a middle average because of those things that I mentioned. But it's not a bad game at all. I mean, if you have friends to play with or if you have friends that come over or if you have family that wants to play, it, I'd say pick it up. It's a great game for that. Shout outs to George with the $5 donation. Says, just wanted to show some support. Haven't been around a lot lately due to my job. Thanks for the, thanks, thanks, blah, 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 blah. Thanks for the content. Thank you so much, George. I appreciate that. Make sure you guys check out George's channel as well. Like I said, he's giving away a copy of uh, Mega Man 11 tomorrow. Was it no, it's tonight. It's tonight. Not to Did I say? I think I said tomorrow. Tonight. Tonight, he's giving away a copy of Mega Man 11, 6 p.m. At PT. That is 9 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you check it out. Get a chance to win uh, Mega Man 11 on the Switch or on any system you want, right? I don't know what system you're giving it away on. Um... I might come back to posting content. I'll look into the workshop. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be tomorrow, like around, uh, like I said, 9, 30, 10 o'clock before the NFL, before the NFL game's going. I, I might want to start it like at 9 a.m. and then have it for about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. It's not going to be a long workshop. Um, it's not going to be a long workshop. So uh, we might have some news as well. I mean, I might do some, I might mix it in with some other things as well. Um, so, so yeah. So uh, like I said, we'll have to wait and see. Just for the workshop part. I don't want people trolling for the workshop part. Like, you know. We can have fun like after, before, or after, probably after, because the workshop will be right at the beginning. But probably after, yeah, we'll probably have a little bit of fun extra stream, like where you guys can ask questions and all that, and it'll be like whatever. But like just for the workshop part, you know. Um, do I do I have any intention of playing Valkyrie Chronicles Four? Yeah, I do. There's just so much games. There's just so many games right now, man. Um, do you think there'll be DLC for Mario Party? Yeah, there'll probably be DLC, Kelsey. I think Center says, uh, "When do you think? When you think? When do you think the Smash Bros. Direct will?" Will air late October, early November. First of all, the, the phrasing of that question is wrong, is incorrect. There is no confirmed Smash Brothers Direct. So when you're saying, when do you think the Smash Bros. Direct will air late October, early November, that makes it seem like there's already a confirmed Smash Brothers Direct. So you should rephrase that question. Uh, you should really put stuff like, you should put something like, oh, well, if Nintendo does have another Direct, let's say, let's say Nintendo does have a Direct, when do you think that it would come for Smash Brothers? Like, I don't like the way that you phrased that question. Now, I'm just going to assume you meant it what I, how I was saying. Like, uh, you know, um, if Nintendo does have an, another Smash Brothers Direct, when do you think it'll air? So I'm going to answer it that way. Um, I think they might have it, like, in November or something like that. Um, so, yeah. Um, buh, 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 buh. Any other questions, guys? More than tag me at player essence or hashtag player essence. Diego says, Plus and Starlink is close. Still hyped for it. How about a uh, PS4 and Xbox One? How do you think it will sell? Uh, yeah, I'm still hyped for Starlink. I'm going to get it. Um, how do I think it will sell on PS4 and Xbox One? Um, not as good as the Switch version. <laughs> I don't know how much it will sell, though, um, because there's Red Dead. Red Dead's coming out. You already have Call of Duty, all that. So I don't think it's going to sell much at all. Um, so, yeah, I think the Switch version is going to be the banger. It's going to be the banger. Um, 
Alex A, uh, if you read the article, if you read the article of what the uh, Yakuza producer said about not putting it on the Switch, then you should already, I don't know why you're asking me that question. If you know that the Yakuza producer doesn't want to put the game on the Switch, what he said why he doesn't want to put the game on the Switch was in that article where you found out about him not wanting to put the game on the Switch. So I don't know why you're asking me about that. If you already know, he literally explained himself in that same article. So since you know why he doesn't want to put that on this, I mean, you know that he doesn't want to put it on the Switch. You should know, right? I mean, you didn't read the article. You you read, I mean, stop reading. Here's the thing, guys. And like I said, this is not to, this is not to pick on you, Alex. A. And I'll answer your question, but make sure you read the whole article. Don't just read headlines from, or don't just look at what headlines. But like, find the article that people are talking about, so you have a better understanding. But you should know if if if, if you, you shouldn't have to ask me because everything was ex- explained in the article that we found out that about. So don't just read headlines. Read the read the actual article so you know what they're talking about. Because he explained why he doesn't want to put the game on the Switch right there in the same headline that he doesn't want to put the game on the Switch. So he explained it right there, but I'll explain it. I'll, I'll tell it again, but just don't read headlines, guys. Make sure you actually read the articles. Don't just read headlines and then run off and go say something else. But um, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. But it was pretty much everywhere that this article was posted. He explained why he doesn't want to. So I don't know why you don't know that, but I'll answer it for you. Um, the reason why he says that, that they put Yaku, uh, Yakuza 1 and 2 HD on the Nintendo Wii U, and that game didn't do so well, so he doesn't think that Nintendo fans want to play yakuza so that's the that's the reason why he doesn't think that nintendo fans want to play it so that's the reason why um and he said there's also other technical technical is there would be like technical issues as well bringing the game over from playstation 4 because of the switch hardware as well so he did say that but he also mentioned the whole yakuza 1 and 2 not doing so well on the wii u which is ridiculous in my opinion because that's horrible selling system um it was only released in one region was not released in the west i mean only in japan i mean but that was his reasoning so there you go um, but yeah, guys, just make sure, like I said, Alex, I'm not, I'm not picking on you. I'm not trying to say, like, trying to call you out or nothing. Just, just like, like, like I said, just make sure you read the whole thing because when people just look at headlines and then they don't know, like, what? Just read the whole article so you can kind of see and get an idea of everything, you know? Um, like the Wall Street Journal article. Yeah, like the Wall Street Journal article. People just read the headline and then just ran off with it. Just said, oh, well, it can be anything, you know? Uh, so, so yeah. Actually, read the art, read the articles. Read the articles. Steven, before before I go. Before I go, I'm going to time you out. Sorry, my guy. <laughs> I accidentally timed you out before you went. So... Maybe you should wait 300 seconds before after you go to say what you're going to say. Or you cannot. It's up to you. But I accidentally timed you out before you went. I'm sorry. You want to wait a little bit longer? Or do you want to continue, my boy? Um, it's up to you. You can leave right now and go while you're timed out, which was an accident. Or you can wait and then you can tell me what you're going to say and then you can go. So, so it's up to you. It's up to you. My my boy, you're going to end up like Kenny on here. Oh, my God. They timed out Steven. Let <laughs> me just call you Steven or uh, Kenny Bowen. Kenny Bowen. Um, uh, let's see here. We had Hyrule Warriors this year, technically. The Switch version, at least. Okay. Uh, exactly. That's what I'm saying. You said, yeah, my bad. I didn't read the article. I just saw a tweet on my timeline saying it's unlikely for Yakuza on Switch because the director doesn't want it on the platform. Exactly. Exactly. That's the thing. Like, So if you would have just took that and then just typed that in, Yakuza producer doesn't want, doesn't want you know, the game on the Switch, then you would have been able to find out. That's what I'm saying. Like, just doing a little bit more research. Just doing a little bit. Like, don't look at Twitter headlines, you know. Usually what I like to do, like, if, when I'm on Twitter, I usually like to link the article. Like, I'll say, hey, well, this is happening. Or I'll, I'll retweet an article. Or I'll link the article to where you can get the full information. You know, I don't just put a headline and then just leave it at that. You know, so that's that's one bad thing Twitter's for. People just leave headlines and just leave clickbait stuff for you and then don't even give you context. So, you know, when you see stuff like that, just just type it into just type it into Google, you know, and check it out so you can get a full understanding. Uh, but that's I mean, I don't you're just seeing that now at this point. I mean, that was like, I think about a month ago or so. That was that's that, that was a while ago. So, I mean, if you're just seeing that now, I don't know why it took so long to finally reach around to you, man. But um, yeah, that that's the 
that that's the whole gist of it but yeah like be be wary of the twitter timelines guys of people who just randomly blurt out stuff you know uh, just be wary of though that's all i'm trying to say like if you see something like that type it into google and see what else they have to say you know beforehand that's that's all i'm trying to say just so you can have a better understanding that's all um and let me see when i reported on that Yeah, I reported on that two months ago. Yeah, two two months ago that happened. Uh, in one of my PE lives, I said, I'll never buy Yakuza. So, so yeah, I reported on that two months ago. So, that was it was a while ago. I'm stuck at the uh, power core in chapter 5 of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Why are you stuck at the power core in, in chapter 5 of Xenoblade Chronicles 2? What do you need to do, my boy, before I can help you? What is it that you need? The game isn't like, there's no puzzles in the game. So tell me what you need to do. Tell me what, it's what, what, is, blocking, what is blocking your obstruction. What, what do you need to do? Uh, yeah, Auron, that's... Yeah, like I said, I'm not trying to get into that conversation because some people are really sensitive. But yeah, at times, people can do that. What happened to technology essence? I haven't seen the Switch accessory video. You mean tech essence? Um, I haven't been able to get new tech like that in a while. So I just haven't been able to do it. keeps whooping my butt if you keep on getting your it's it's an R, eric popovich it's an rpg if you're getting your butt whooped go power level go level up <laughs> like uh go level up go do some side quests stop ignoring all the side quests stop ignoring all that stuff that where you get good experience go to the go to an inn okay go to the gourmet inn okay go rest and use your bonus experience to level up your person and um, look at your actual accessories. If you're getting your butt kicked, look at your accessories. Maybe get some more X, uh, HP on some of there uh, and level up. And like I said, do the side quest. Stop ignoring. I, I don't think you're doing the side quest. If you do the side quests in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, if you do all of them before, like you, you do all the available side quests to you before you go on to the next main story quest, you should never lose. You shouldn't die one time unless you get accidentally targeted by a way higher level enemy out in the open field. You should never die. I died... Like maybe I died once on the Malos, the Malos boss fight because I made a mistake. I made one little mistake at the very end. I died once there. But if you do all the side quests and play the game, or if you do a majority of the side quests or a good amount, you should always be a high enough level to where you're not going to, like you're just surely stronger than everybody. It's not a hard game to beat. Now, if you ignore it and you're just going through and you're just, you're just kind of going straight through and you're not resting at the end, you're not you're not leveling up your character, you're not doing side quests, you're going to get bopped. You shouldn't be getting stuck in Chapter 5. Chapter 5 isn't hard. You shouldn't be getting stuck. Um, level 99 in Chapter 3? Yeah. Simply Chronicles 2, baby. OJ is absolutely correct. That's why I love RPGs because all you have to do is level up and you should be able to get past any obstacle in your way. Exactly. All you have to do is level up. My number one rule when playing RPGs is level at three to five ahead before entering um, a new location. Yeah, I mean, my rule is always just complete most of the side quests because then i'll know i'll be strong enough if you complete the side quests in rpgs you should all you should always be strong enough complete the side quests and level up a bit you should always be strong enough like torn of the golden country like i saw people posting stuff like getting beat by mallows at the end and i'm like why are you guys getting beat by mallows like torn of the golden country is so easy to level up in that game like it's ridiculous because you already know how to level up from zero like xenoblade chronicles 2 like it takes you a little bit to kind of get into, into the groove of things of how to level up and how to really be efficient but you should already know that and I saw people who already played Xenoblade Chronicles 2 getting bopped in Xenoblade Chronicles uh, Torn of the Golden Country. I'm like, why are you guys getting bopped? 
Like, I did not, I think I died one time is because I ran into a high, I accidentally, um, or no, because I was trying to challenge a higher level, um, unique enemy, you know, beforehand. Like, that, that's it. Outside of that, I never died in there because it, you, you just do the side quest, rest at the end, level up. I beat the game at nearly level 70. I think I was at level 67 when I beat the game, bopped Mallows twice, and I was good, you know? Like, it's not, it's not a hard game. It's not a hard game at all. Um, now if you don't level up, you don't do the side quest, you go through, you ignore all the little blue thing, you know, you ignore all the little blue question marks begging for your help, then yeah, you're going to have some problems, you know, <laughs> you're going to have some problems, you're going to get bopped, but if you just do the side quest and level up, you'll be fine, because here's the thing, Xenoblade Chronicles, you don't get the most XP, like, the only way you get real good experience points is if you chain attack, kill somebody. That's the only way that you really get good experience points. You chain attack, kill somebody. So you have to have a full meter, or not full meter, but you have to have like a, your chain attack all the way full, get the orbs, burst them, destroy them, and then you get bonus XP. That's the only way you get really good XP. The other way that you get really good XP to where you can really level up is side quests. Side quests give you a ton of XP, but then all that XP doesn't go straight to you. That XP goes into a bank. It goes into your reserve bank. And then when you go to an inn, you rest and then you can like hyper level up your character. Like you can level up sometimes three to four times more. Heck, depending on how much experience you've banked up, you can level up five times. I think there was one time where I, I banked up so much extra experience in Torn of the Golden Country. Like I, I improved like six levels or something like that. Like I just banked up a ton of experience from doing all the side quests so a lot of people don't understand that with xenoblade chronicles 2 like you really got to do the side quests if you don't do the side quests you'll be screwed you'll 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 get beat if you don't do the side quests because you don't get enough experience from just beating enemies over and over you know um i don't know if you already went over this but uh, did you uh ever tell the story about uh, put your dolls in your pockets i've missed the story behind it uh jonas erickson i've told that story a million times um let me answer some more questions and i'll tell the story maybe maybe we can do the story on monday maybe that might be a good thing for monday because i know we'll have a little bit more people watching so we'll tell the story dolls in your pockets on monday we'll, we'll do the doll maybe we have to make it a ritual every monday every monday every every first and third monday of the month we, we tell the dolls in your pocket story uh but we'll do that monday we'll do that monday for you man um or actually no not i know because like you, you live on the you live all right, so I'll tell the story real quick. Here's the shortened, abbreviated version of Dolls in Your Pockets. So uh, one time I was at my friend, and like I said, it's not, it's not going to be the funny version. I'm not going to over overhype it. But I was at my friend's house uh, for a birthday party, and I was a huge gambler in high school. I used to always flip dollars all the time in high school uh, to make money, where you take a dollar, you fold it on one side, fold it on the other side. You call evens or odds, and whatever it lands, a uh, person whoever called it right gets the money. So we were at my friend's house, uh, my friend Cater's house. We were playing, uh, we were playing Mario Kart, uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, and we were flipping dollars. We were all just flipping. I was making a ton of money, dude. We were, we were all just flipping, having a good time playing Mario Kart. And uh, uh, my friend Cater's dad, he he wasn't like into. The, obviously, he doesn't want people gambling in his house. Um, so like out of nowhere, dude, we were flipping and we were having fun. This dude busts into, this dude busts into the room and says, "Hey fellas, hey fellas." Put your dollars in your pockets. <laughs> and we were all just shocked. I was like, ah! I was just like shocked. I mean, remember, we're like freshmen in high school, okay? We're like freshmen in high school. And right at the moment he said dollars in your pockets, everybody who was playing Mario Kart, because I was watching Mario Kart 2 and I was flipping, it was right at the same moment there was that Wario stage. You know that Wario stage in Mario Kart Double Dash where he's like that? It was like the same thing. It was, it was like they were synchronized. It was like synchronized pockets. <laughs> so, so since then, everybody's always like, put your dollars in your pockets. Because <laughs> it was like, you like busted in. And then as they were going, it was right at that Wario stage where Wario was like that. And you know how Wario, he's always about money, right? So it just all like. It all fit. You had the Wario, you had the money, you had him going like that, you had Wario like that. <laughs> so it was just all kind of like linked up, you know. Uh, so that's why I say, fella, put your dollars in your pockets. <laughs> so my pockets were so full of dollars, I couldn't stuff anymore. I remember, I'll, let me tell you guys another story from high school. Just, just a quick one. Dude, when I, I remember when I first, the first day that I ever started flipping, I found out what flipping was. I borrowed a dollar. I borrowed a dollar from this, um, from like this, I think it was a junior or a senior. I don't know his name. I forgot his name. But I borrowed a dollar. He's like, okay, you, hey, this is how you play. He told me how to play. He said, I'm going to let you borrow this dollar. He's like, bring me back $2. 
I said, yeah, I'll bring you back $2. Came back, flipped in between class, won $3, gave him $2, and all I had was a dollar, right? All I had was a dollar left, or two dollars left, or whatever the case was. From there, my first day, my first day flipping, I flipped, I got so addicted, gambling's addictive. I got so addicted to gambling my freshman year, flipping dollars. I flipped all day. All day I flipped. In between classes, at lunch, all of that stuff. And back then, they didn't know what we were doing. The, the, the yard aids back in the freshman year, they didn't know. Like, they thought they were just playing a stupid, silly game with money, like with the dollar. They didn't think of a big thing. People were flipping quarters. People were flipping nickels. People were flipping all sorts of stuff. So they just thought it was nothing. So they just let us flip, you know, when they just saw us. They didn't think it was much. And it wasn't until later that they started cracking it. Like, they knew that we were, like, seriously gambling. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, we were, uh, but my freshman year, that year, I like that, that day, I borrowed a dollar and I went home with $85. No joke. I went home, my pockets were so full of dollars, crumpled, flipped, crumpled, full of dollars. I could not believe it. It became like my job after that. It was like, I went to school for, to make money and then to go to school. It was like, oh, I'm going to work today. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all I did all day, all day, flip dollars. And for a solid like seven months, all I did was flip dollars my first, the whole school year. The whole school year, just flip dollars. And it was like my job. And I made I made tons of money, tons of money flipping dollars. I started getting bold and brash. I started flipping 20s, started flipping 50s. You know, it was crazy. It was it was a good time. It was a good time. Um, good time. Um, synchronized pockets. Is like, yeah, synchronized pockets, man. It was just like, it was at the same time, dude. Um... He said, the only thing that stopped me from Xenoblade 2 is a door can't open to progress to Chapter 9. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Um, Colin Mitchell says, uh, you got a side quest. I feel like the Western games have people, the idea that they are all optional. Yeah, the Western games definitely make it to where it's all optional, to where you don't have to really do side quests to really just get through. Because of how much experience they give you by doing um, normal quests. If you do the normal main quest, they give you more experience for doing the normal main quests. Whereas in Xenoblade, you can get actually way more experience by doing side quests than main quests. So yeah, that's the difference. Um, there's some donations that haven't been read yet. Uh, okay, yeah, my bad. It was 17 minutes ago that I missed your donation. Actually, 18 minutes ago. Sorry, Andy. I'm, I'm terribly sorry about that. I didn't hear it with the music. Um, Andy donated $2 and says, All right, I wanted to use the bangiest of bangers of all. But a song with lyrics, which might not be allowed here. Guess I can use something else. Okay, yeah, lyrics are lyrics are tough. Lyrics are always, I always try to avoid lyrics when I can. Um. So yeah, I always try to avoid lyrics, but we'll see. We'll see what this is. Empire City Day theme from Sonic Unleashed. Shoutouts. We need five more likes. Let's get those five more likes, guys. Hustle Essence. Let's go. Time for a flip dollars t-shirt. Dollars in your pockets t-shirt. Super Mario, Super Mario Party. Uh, Gintoki Cruises. Super Mario Party is fun but lacking. Needs more boards and online board play. Maybe some more mini games too. Well, it has 80 mini games. So it has enough mini games. Mini games are good. What it needs is it needs more of those mini games to be able to play online. It needs uh, the board the boards to be able to play it online. I don't really think it needs more boards per se. Like I think it's fine because there's tons of mini games. Um, more boards would be great. So if they add that in via DLC, that that's fine. Um, I don't really think it needs more boards because the boards are a subset of the actual mini games. So I don't really like I'm not as big on that. Like it, oh it needs like 15 boards or anything. Like, no, not really. Uh, to me, what's fun about Mario Party is the mini games. The mini games are what's fun and makes the boards like that's what you do most of the time. The board you just look at. I mean, sometimes the boards are I mean, actually I hate the boards. The boards are stupid. Like they do all sorts of dumb things. Like you land on a space, and, like you freaking somebody comes and like knocks you out of the way. Like I hate the boards. But anyway, the mini games are fun. I can understand why people want the boards though, like to kind of round out the game itself. Uh, but yeah, I think they'll probably add more DLC via the boards. But I'm, I'm not really crazy about that because I think. To me, like, for, like, the mini games are good. There's enough mini games, and that's the main part of Mario Party is that. But I agree that they definitely need to make more, um, more of the mini games online, and uh, have it to where you can play boards online. I think that'd be good. Um, how did Mario Party 11 treat treat you? Oh, it's fun. It's fun. Um, uh, that's true. 
That's true. There's more strategy, but I'm just not. I'm just not. Hu I'm not huge. Um, getting having the board screw me over by like four people playing. But like I said, to me, like I'm not. I'm not huge on just like I'm not gonna sit there and like play all the different boards and like do all that stuff like all the time. Like I don't use Mario Party like that. Now, if you're really big into Mario Party, then yeah, I can see what you're saying. Like, but I'm not so much into Party Mario Party where I need like 15 different boards or something like that. I don't like four is a fine for me. You know, like if I have people over to play, the only time that I play this game is when I have people over to play. And it's not like I need like a bunch of different boards for people to play with them. We'll just pick a board. We'll play the mini games. We'll have fun. Are the mini games fun? The mini games are fun. Yes, the board's going to screw us over. Yes, there's a little bit of strategy involved. Yes, there's a little bit of luck involved. I mean, whatever, you know, but so for me, it's not like, oh, I need so many different boards where that's going to, I just need a lot of mini games. I need a good variety of mini games and fun mini games. You know, that that's what I need. I um, mean, Mario Party, Mario Party has that. So I'm not like, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh my God, I need like 15 more boards. Just like, no, I, I don't. It's like, to be honest, guys, it'd just be, it'd be fake. It'd be fake. It'd be fake because I'm not even going to play all the boards that they release. I guarantee you, if they release 10 boards via DLC, I guarantee you that I wouldn't play more than half of them. I guarantee you they, they, the boards would just be there. But I can tell you guys that they need more if you guys want me to. If you guys want me to act like they need more, I can, I mean, or act like I'd be interested in playing more, I can, I can lie to you guys, but I'm telling you the truth, how I feel. No, I'm not, if they release 10 more boards, I'm not gonna play all of them, no. I'll probably just pick one or two, and when my friend, if I, if I have a friend come over, I might play one or so, but I'm not gonna be like, oh my god look at all this stuff. i'm just not i'm just i'm just telling you guys the truth from my perspective now from other people's perspective i get it you wanted more you played the game more i get that if i had a family here playing and we needed to really have way more i, I get that but it's just i i don't i don't care enough to be honest about mario party um but like i said i'm just telling you guys the truth from my perspective from my perspective um it might be different for other people um how many times can you st um you can you can uh you can steal people's stars or oh, before you punch them in real life <laughs> uh, well it depends on who you're playing but some people get punched for stuff like that dude <laughs> um so yeah how's it going man are the game awards the same to each game i don't know what you're talking about michael polite you said are the are the end game awards the same to each game? I think. Oh, you mean for Super Mario Party? Um, I think it's. I think you get. Th there's up to three, isn't there? You get um, whoever collected the most coins. Whoever it's collected the most coins, it's traveled the furthest distance. I think it's just two, or is it two, or is it three, guys? I, I know that it's those two, like extra stars. Travel the most distance and collected the most coins. I think that's it. I don't know if there's a third one. I think it's just two. Yeah, I, th I think. Yeah, the the bonus stars. Yeah, the bonus stars. Yeah, yeah. I just don't. Ca I just don't care enough about Mario Party to be up to be like ang super angry about it. To be honest, guys, I just I just don't. I mean, yeah, I'll say that. Oh, yeah, and they've definitely, like, when I was playing online last night, yeah, they, they, they need to definitely add some things. Like I said, they could add some more, like, make it to where you can play a board online, make it to where they can add some more mini games online. Yeah, I, I get that. It's just, like, I don't, I just don't care enough to be like, oh, they need to add all this, like, right now. Like, I, I need it. Right now. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go all outraged and act like I care enough about it. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't. <laughs> That's the only problem. Oh, once again, Nintendo gave me a review code for the game. By the way, if you just joined it in, Nintendo gave me a review code for the game. Played it, thought it was okay. Like I said, I give it maybe like a. Right now, it's sitting at like because of the issues that we already talked about and some of the issues that you guys brought up. It's like a seven right now, you know. But like I said, I haven't done a full review of it. I still need to. I need to be able to play it locally with people. I haven't been able to play it locally, so it's tough for me to do a review. Um, playing local would probably be a lot more would probably be way more fun because when I played online with you guys. It was great. It was just there just wasn't enough mini games. That's my that's my there just wasn't enough mini games. Even playing that mini game rush was fun. I I already saw what you said, Gintoki Cruz. I, I I hear you, man. Um, the option to play with boards with friends. I hear you, man. Um, what else you guys got for me? Any other questions? If not, we'll wrap it up here. We've been going for about two hours. So I can, I can answer questions for about six more minutes if you guys want. Tag me at Player Essence, uh, Michael. I don't know how much you come to the stream. Tag me at Player Essence. I'll answer your questions, but try to tag me at Player Essence. 
uh, Galaxy 1 or Galaxy 2. Galaxy 2 is much better than Galaxy 1 in my opinion. How long are each of the boards? Uh, each of the boards, it depends on the um, how many turns you do. But it's a, a minimum is like an hour, an hour or more. It's all good. It's all good, Michael. Just tag me at, um, at Player Essence. Hashtag Player Essence or at Player Essence. Just tag me. And I'll be more than happy to answer questions. So I know that you're not talking to somebody else or something. But I'm thinking you're, t I th I'm thinking you're talking to me with the Galaxy question. Because you might be asking somebody else. I'm not sure. So that's the reason why I just say tag me. Um, yeah, uh, Galaxy 2. I like Galaxy 2 a lot more. Uh, there's no confirmed Smash Direct. So I don't know if there's going to be another one. Kentucky Cruise says, players, since, uh, with the 2019 announced games, in what order do you think the, they would come out next year? Dude, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. I think my boy Stealth put out an order, and maybe I'll agree with his. So let me look, let me look up Stealth's order, and maybe I can, I can agree. Um, I think we can, uh, we, we can both agree there. Oh, shout out, shout out to Dave. My boy Dave just sent me a message. I gotta get Dave back on the stream, man. Too many people think that I hate him. I gotta, I gotta get him back on the stream. Um, let me look up stealth. Yeah, because stealth, put, stealth put out an order that he thinks. Okay, yeah, here's stealth. Here, here's what stealth thinks on Twitter. I kind of agree with them. So obviously we already know that New Super Mario Bros. U with Deluxe is coming in January. Then he says February unknown, March unknown, April Yoshi's Crafted World, May Fire Emblem Three Houses, June Animal Crossing, uh, July Super Mario Maker 2. So he made up that because that's not confirmed. August Xenoblade Chronicles uh, X Deluxe. He made up that because that's not confirmed either. September Damon Cross Machina. Um, October, he says Gen 8 Pokemon, and then he says November, Luigi's Mansion 3. I would flip those two. I would say October, Luigi's Mansion 3, November, Gen 8 Pokemon, and then December, Metroid Prime 4. So I generally agree with that. Um, there's no Bayonetta 2 or Bayonetta 3 in there, so I would think that Bayonetta 3 might come out sometime in between there. I don't know. Uh, so I'd probably remove, like, Super Mario Maker or Xenoblade Chronicles X Deluxe, remove one of those, and add in uh, Bayonetta 2 into one of those slots. But that's just me. That's just me. Um, all right, what else you guys got for me? Uh, shout outs to Raymond Rump with the subscription. Shout outs to Raymond Rump. Thank you so much. Only subscription for the live stream, but I appreciate that. You guys know how YouTube hates my channel. So thank you, Raymond Rump. I appreciate the subscription, homie. Really do. Thank you. Uh, Dragon Gamer says, Plaris, what game are you going to play next? I don't know, man. I've been taking a little break from gaming. Uh, after Torn of the Golden Country, nothing's really as good as that game. So it's kind of hard going from something that's so good to other stuff that's not as good. But I think I'm going to get back into Octopath and beat that. Then maybe finish off, and then maybe do some Ease 8, Lacrimosa of Donna. Um, I know the World Ends With You Final Remix comes out. Comes out next week. Comes out this upcoming week. Yeah. The, the World Ends With You. So that'll be the next game that I play. It comes out Friday. The World Ends With You comes out Friday. So I'll be playing, I'll, I'll be playing the World Ends With You Final Remix on Friday. Uh, but I think I'll be going back to Octopath this week. Like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'll be, I'll be, go, I'll be going back to Octopath. So that'll be fun. Um, does Jump Force interest me at all? No, not really. 
Hey, Velvety, what's up? Uh, you came at the end of the stream, though. I'm, I'm about to end the stream. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Playing the GameCube. What games did you get on your GameCube, Velvet? Uh, yeah, 20, 20 is physical. Absolutely, 20 is physical. D-Dub, you, you can always look up if stuff's physical. All you got to do is just type in type in uh, the world ends with... All you got to do is just type in the world ends with you. All you got to do is type it up. The first listing is always going to be Nintendo.com. And then, bam, you'll be able to see it right there. It took me a second. Look, I already have it up. Bam, you'll be able to see right there. Pre-purchase, buy physical. All these available retailers. And that, like I said, that took me literally a couple seconds just to type and enter in. So yeah, that's that's if, if you're always wondering if a game's gonna be physical or not, especially a, a Nintendo game or a first party, a big Switch game, just type it in. You'll you'll be able to see that yourself, no problem. My GameCube's coming in the mail. Velvet. Oh, you're on your phone. Oh. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, the ones with you, we've known about it for a while. So, I mean, physical, that's, I think I've talked, I think you've asked that question, haven't you? I thought I, thought I already answered that question. Maybe I didn't. That's true. Okay. I didn't know you were on your phone. That's true. I did not know you were on your phone. But yes, it's physical. 499 physical. Yep. It's physical. It's physical. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, so I think I think we are good. Uh, Labyrinth of Reefer and I have not tried the demo yet. I think we're good for right now, guys. We stream for two hours. Uh, tomorrow we got a YouTube workshop. So if you're interested in learning more about YouTube and how to get started and channels and all that good stuff, we will be having a workshop tomorrow for you guys. So look forward to that. It'll be around 9 o'clock, 9 a.m., 9.30, something like that. 30, 45 minutes for the workshop before NFL games. So look forward to that, guys. I think it's going to be pretty fun uh turtle is it turtle uh turtle kawaii um you said that you just joined turtle follow me on twitter okay and have push notifications sent to your phone or you see the little bell icon make sure you hit the little bell icon so you know when i'm about to stream because it'll give you notifications um or check out like i said follow me on twitter i'll put up posts when i'm going to stream so you know when to join in guys so make sure you guys are all hitting the bell icon so you know when my videos are going up or even when i make a post i'm um, gonna make sure you follow me on twitter so you know when i stream because i'll always post on twitter when i'm streaming so just make sure you guys follow me there okay um so thank you guys for coming out to the stream i do appreciate it i am going to relax before this uh spawn cast tonight remember you guys check it out six o'clock p.m pt nine o'clock eastern time i'll see every guy i'll see you guys there so thank you guys so much for watching appreciate all the donations appreciate everybody who came out to the stream i really do and we'll see you tomorrow also for the workshop as well so i'll have a post follow me on twitter follow my community page and make sure you hit the bell notification so you're notified when i do videos all right peace out guys